Welcome guys to your SEMA BA2 Fundamental of Management Accounting paper. Within this paper we are going to take the role of a management accountant, so an accountant who is working within a business context and we are going to start to explore and examine some of the different roles and obligations of a management accountant. Within this paper we're going to start off by learning about what actually is a management accountant and what role do they have within an organisational context. We develop that further by starting to identify the key functions of a management accountant. The first of these key functions of a management accountant is in the form of costing. Now costing involves identifying the cost of producing an item or providing a service dependent on the nature of the business activities. You can see there that this is going to be 25%, so a large proportion of your syllabus area. And what you're going to see are that there are a number of different techniques that we can actually adopt to identify this cost of producing an item or providing a service. There will be quite a lot of terminology as well involved in costing and your understanding of that terminology is absolutely crucial to take you through not only this fundamental management accounting paper but then into your future papers, your future management accounting papers. Now this terminology, this is all to do with identifying and classification of costs and you're going to see terms such as the fixed cost, the variable cost, the semi-variable cost and you guys have really got to be very confident about what that terminology means and then be able to actually apply that information in the relevant syllabus areas. The information gathered when identifying the cost of producing an item or providing a service is then used in a number of other business areas and roles of the management accountant. So we can use that information firstly when it comes to planning. Now planning we're going to specifically be focusing on here the preparation of budgets, so making sure that we can bring together information and prepare a plan of action, which is really all we're looking at with a budget. Once we've got this plan of action, a plan of action allows us to have something to work towards, so preparing and setting a target. Now once we've got that information, that will then allow us to analyse our performance, it will allow us to make future decisions, which really brings us into the remaining syllabus areas. So the controls side of this is about being able to actually perform detailed comparisons. This is what I expected, this is what I budgeted, I got this information from things like my uh, costing calculations. So it's what I expected to happen to what actually happened and this is what's called a variance calculations and you're going to see within the paper a number of different variances that you would be expected to be able to calculate. So that really filters into the control element of this, being able to make these comparisons between what we expected to happen and what actually happened and then use that information to make changes within the organisation. That is one of the, the main roles, the functions of a management accountant within an organisation. Now a management accountant also needs to ensure that they can interpret, evaluate information and make fundamental decisions with regards to the continued operations and the long-term growth of the company. So they do play a major part in that analysis process and that really is what we see in that final syllabus area of decision making. And you can see there, substantial element, 35% of your syllabus covered by decision making. Now the reason you've got such a high proportion is because we can break down decision making between short and long term decisions and we're going to see different techniques and processes that you need to follow when it comes to short and long term decision making. 
long-term decision making tends to focus on company growth and it's very much focused on one-off decisions that we need to make with regards to growth and expansion opportunities and we're going to see some techniques that will allow us to come to the correct decision which involve investment appraisal and this is just if you like an umbrella heading to give us a number of different techniques that we could use to evaluate particular opportunities. Now we then have shorter term decisions and I often refer to these as product based decisions because these are more day to day with regards to things like resource utilization, uh, the viability of the different products that we're actually offering. So techniques such as break even calculations were going to be looked at, going to be considered in this paper. Now what we're going to see therefore is that you are going to see a number of the key functions of management accountants and you are expected to be able to perform the key tasks, the key calculations and apply the key techniques. As you then develop your knowledge, so in future papers, that's when you're going to take this fundamental information that we're learning at this stage and it's going to be developed and applied in different situations. So at this stage, although we're going to see quite a wide ranging number of tools, techniques, calculations that are involved, on the other side of things you are simply required to be able to perform the basic calculations and have a basic understanding of the process that you're following.